All right, guys, welcome in here. Kurt Magoosh and Slaughterhouse Sports. And, and today we're going to look at Ja'Curry Brown. He's a 6'4 quarterback out of Valdosta, Georgia. Great, great football city there in Valdosta. And Ja'Curry is a 6'4 quarterback. He has, he has several great qualities. Um, tremendous at throwing the ball on the run. That's, that's, that's his strength, is improvisation. Very elusive, difficult to, to get down in the backfield. Big guy. And, you know, he's able to withstand hits, but he's also a tremendous thrower on the run. That, that, that's the strength of his game is, you know, he does have good arm strength. He really has good arm strength. Like right here, he throws it a good 40 yards rolling to his right. It's not the most elite arm strength, but it's damn good. It's impressive. He can throw with touch. He, he can throw on the run very, very well. Quarterback run game, he's going to be very, very good, but he does have the ability to throw the deep ball, and he's always hunting explosive plays, which you love to see. You love a quarterback that trusts his ability and is willing to make explosive plays. Here he houses this ball. So, I, you know, I even think that with, you know, uh, Josh Heupel's offense, like with what Hendon Hooker was doing, that offense really fit him well. I mean, there are times where, you know, you want to see him protect the ball a little bit, like he does run with one hand. So sometimes you want to see him protect the football a little bit in the backfield, and there are times when there's just unnecessary movements with Ja'Curry where he has a clean, clean pocket. Here he does have to move, and this is where he makes like a tremendous throw on the run. So he's got the difficult parts down with his game. He's got the difficult parts down. Um, what a throw right here. This is one of my favorites. Just layers it with touch down the field. Very accurate. And I think in the Josh Gaddis offense, there were quarterback run games. You know, uh, Cade McNamara had had a lot of wheel routes just like this one that are that are throws that are makeable, um, that can go for touchdowns. It was a primarily a, a running, a, you know, a running offense where they would they would run the football and then have the ability to throw explosive plays. And I think that they, you know, they had Milton as a quarterback as well, and Milton had a big arm. Um, but Ja'Curry, unlike Milton, Ja'Curry is a more mobile quarterback, actually. Ja'Curry Brown can really run. See, like, right, right here, though, this is the thing with Ja'Curry Brown, is, like, right here, this is a clean pocket where you can hang in the pocket right here and you can wait a split second to deliver the ball because sometimes on this tape, Ja'Curry Brown is just running when there is a clean pocket and you could run into trouble um, in the ACC. You could run into trouble. You could run into sacks, per se. That's the thing. These are all throws on the run. So you want to see him in the pocket also be able to wait for reads and 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 look at and get to his second and third reads in the pocket. So like right here, for example, the first read is taken away. So then it's still a clean pocket and you want to just see him like like I, I it is fourth down on this play, so so uh just looking at it right here, so circumstances. Well he could just drop this throw in right here. Could just drop the throw, go to a second and hit that throw right there. He does make an incredible, incredible play. So as an offensive coordinator, you also want to let your Curry have the freedom to to be a special, special player that he is. But but I also believe that that Gaddis and Miami, you also want to give him structure and you want to let your Curry develop to as a pocket passer. Here he hangs in there and does make a th does make a great throw. So he does have the ability to do that. I think he can be effective, effective quarterback um, at, at the collegiate level. I think that you know if he waits, you know, till his till, till junior or sophomore year, playing behind Van Dyke is is really going to to help him in this process. 
And, and I think that, you know, you run like a power run game up the middle. You let Ja'Curry make, it, you know, several explosive plays during a game. He gets the offense down. He gets the timing with the receivers down, the slants. You know, I think that he's going to be a really, I think that he's going to be a fun quarterback. I think that you will see explosive plays. You will see at times, at times you might see, you know, some turnovers or some bad sacks, but I also think that you're going to get really explosive plays. So I do think that you're, you're bringing in a very talented quarterback who has the ability to be a thrower and who has the ability already to make the difficult plays on the run. And that, that's what's going to separate you. If you're going to get to the NFL, you want a quarterback that that can make plays uh, out of nothing, and and that's what Jacurry does here. I mean, he's just an outstanding, outstanding improviser, kind of like Tony Romo was with the Cowboys. Like he can roll to his right and, and make plays. He's going to be able to roll out and gain yards on the ground. You look at Justin Herbert or Mahomes or all the all the quarterbacks. You do want that that mobile component, and I love this play call right here. I love how he hangs in the pocket right here, how he waits and lets this play develop, and he played at Valdosta, and it's a really tough place to play. It's a fishbowl kind of a place. You know, if you watch, like, the Netflix special, so Miami is, is not going to be too big for Ja'Curry Brown. And man, oh, man, can he make, he can make throws. I mean the 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 um, it is a little bit of a loopier release, but you know as long as the ball is going to get there on time, it's it's going to be all right. So you know I I think that Jacuri again I think that he would benefit you know from like you know a couple of years of just of just with with the Gaddis offense he does have that ability uh, you know to to develop as a pocket passer as well and then he can make these plays on the run. He has Van Dyke there, and he has Gaddis there, and I think Gaddis is a really good offensive coordinator that can create around your strengths as a quarterback. He even, you know, you sh- he so- this year with J.J. McCarthy, Gaddis was able to change the offense from Cade McNamara, who is a pocket passer, to a running quarterback in J.J. McCarthy at this stage. So, yes, at the end of games, you could even see sub packages with Ja'Curry and get him some playing experience there. Maybe in the four games, so like he can redshirt or something like that. But overall, Miami's getting a very exciting player. You're getting a guy that is a that is a special, special improviser outside of the pocket that can really make throws on the run, that has plus arm strength, that has a big body at 6'4", that can withstand hits at the Division One level, who, who's a great leader and who has played um, at Valdosta, which is, you know, again, a, a great football town and a place where football really matters. So um, I'm excited to see what Ja'Curry does at Miami.